بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے لیکچر از لینئر شوٹنگ میتھڈ دس از ون آف دا میتھڈ ٹو سالو باؤنڈری ویلیو پرابلمس سو آؤٹ لائنس آر انیشلی آئی ول ٹیل یو اباؤٹ واٹ ایکچولی باؤنڈری ویلیو پرابلم از دین لینئر شوٹنگ میتھڈ اینڈ دین ٹو ایکسپلین دیٹ پروسیجر I'll teach you an example. So firstly, I'll tell you the difference between the initial value and the boundary value problems. So initial value problems are the problems in which the auxiliary conditions are at one point of the independent variable. So for this equation, differential equation, these conditions, since so this is a second order differential equation, so you need two equations, the two conditions. So x at 0 is 1 and x derivative at 0 is 2.5. So the, we are using two same values for the independent variable. So these conditions are known as initial conditions. And these conditions together with the ordinary differential equation is known as initial value problem. But in case of boundary value problems, again, second order differential equation, we need two conditions. So one is given at x is equal to 0 and other is given at x is equal to 2 so this is conditions are not at the one point of the independent variable so these conditions are known as boundary conditions and boundary condition together with ordinary differential equation makes it boundary value problem and it is difficult to solve boundary value problems than initial value problems please keep and one another thing in your mind دیکھیے یہاں سیکنڈ ڈیریویٹو انوالو ہے تو ہمیں دو کنڈیشنز چاہیے ہوں گی تو باؤنڈری ویلیو کے لیے ڈفرنٹ ہونے کے لیے دو ویلیوز ہونا ضروری ہے تو کیا پتا چلا کہ جو باؤنڈری ویلیو پرابلم ہمارے پاس ہوگی وہ ایٹ لیسٹ سیکنڈ آرڈر ڈیفرینشل ایکویشن ہوگی منیم کیونکہ اگر یہ فرسٹ آرڈر ہو تو وہ لیڈ آنلی سنگل کنڈیشن تو اس میں ڈفرنٹ ویلیوز نہیں ہوں گی ہمارے پاس تو جو باؤنڈری ویلیو پرابلمز ہیں وہ منیمم سیکنڈ آرڈر ڈیفرینشل کوئیشن سے شروع ہوں گی انیشل کنڈیشن فرسٹ آرڈر بھی ہو سکتی ہیں اور نیڈ سنگل کنڈیشن تو ایک ہی پوائنٹ پر بھی دی جا سکتی ہے بڑھ بانڈری کنڈیشن سے سٹارٹ فرام سیکنڈ آرڈر ڈیفرینشل کوئیشن شوٹنگ میتھرڈ سو چیک دس میتھرڈ ویڈ دا ہیلپ آف دس لوئین فر اگزمپل وی سپوز A cannon is fixed on ground and it is inclined at certain angle and we have this target. So our aim is to hit the target with the help of this cannon. So make first try. So if you look carefully, this is the path that is taken by this cannon's fire at this angle. So it misses the target. Okay, so I change this angle. Now we fire again from this cannon and let's see, does it hit the target? Uh, it fell short to the target so to track this path so it's going falling before the target so it did not hit the target okay now look again carefully here so i'm going to change this angle again so i change this angle and then i fired again so if you look it's hit the target okay so this is it hits the target so this need a physical interpretation actually this cannon inclined at certain angle so angle is derivative so we have fixed this cannon so we have one of the condition means x at certain value has some point so this first condition is here So this is actually the target, this is the second condition. 
So if we are taking these two points different, so this is actually the boundary value problem. So here for example, x at node x at 0 is x naught or we can take any value x at certain point is x naught and x at another point is xn but what actually we are doing we are focusing on this point only so fix this means the first condition is satisfied so the second condition is angle its slope which is derivative so this boundary value problem is actually I am converting into initial value problem. I will fix a certain angle. So my task is to angle here, which will hit it. So initial value problem is a solution which target to hit the target, boundary condition to satisfy the so initial value problem is a solution to boundary condition to satisfy the of course will be the solution to the boundary value problem. So our actual purpose is that we are the boundary value problem to initial value problem and we are changing the initial value problem to change the solution to the boundary condition to satisfy the boundary So these are actually the points. First, we guess a value for the auxiliary condition at one point of the time. We know the first condition, the second is we are making the guess. So this is for the slope means we are guessing a value for the derivative. Then this becomes initial condition. So solve this initial value problem using any of the methods we already studied to solve initial value problem. So you can use any of the Euler method or RK method. So check. If the boundary conditions are satisfied, then this is fine. This is a solution. Otherwise, modify the guess and resolve the problem. Now we have to repeat this process until unless we hit the target means the boundary condition is satisfied. So maybe it can take 100 chances, but we will do here a smart move. So we'll make one guess. We'll make another guess and then we'll use the interpolation to get a guess which will give the desired result. So we'll have to make two guesses and then the third guess interpolated from the first two guesses will give exactly the value we want. Means it will satisfy the boundary condition. So it is an iterative procedure and can be efficient in solving the boundary value problem. So solution of boundary value problem by shooting method is done in a way we convert boundary value problem to the initial value problem and then since it's a second order equations so this will be converted into a system of first order ordinary differential equation for example if you look at this equation this is a second order equation to solve this we will convert this higher order differential equation into the form of system of linear equations so we'll convert this one into two first order ordinary differential equations so we'll make initial guess so then we'll solve the initial value problem means we solve this problem at a certain angle this is the case we fired first time then check if boundary conditions are satisfied so this will be the guess which worked fine but if it not the case, we will modify the guess. This is the second angle. So we will again fire, means again we will repeat all this complete process. If body conditions are satisfied, this is fine. If body conditions are not satisfied, we will go for the third guess. But this time we will not make a raw guess. In fact, we will make a guess with the help of interpolation, which will satisfy the given boundary conditions as well along with the initial conditions so look at this example we have second order differential equation so we are given x at 0 is 1 and y at 1 is equal to 2 so what does this actually mean we are given x at 0 is y at 0 is 0 and then y at x is equal to 1 is 2 
so what we have to do we actually have to find a path between those two points such that this passes from these two green dots so these are the conditions and this is the path actually that we have to determine so this path will be the path which will be satisfying this given equation so this will be the solution to this equation and in addition this will be passing through these two green dots mean will be satisfying these conditions so together this will be a boundary value problem and this curve or this path passing through these two points will be the solution to the original boundary value problem so as i told you earlier this is a second order differential equation to hame isko do first order differential equation mein convert karna padega is method ko you know very well reduction of order bolte hain hum second derivative jo first derivative hai usko ek new variable introduce karwa dete hain so here we are considering y1 derivative as y2 to jo second order equation hai wo y2 ke first derivative ki form mein convert ho jati hai so this is the system of uh actually two first order linear equations which is obtained from this second order differential equation by reduction of order so here you have first condition y at 0 is 0 so this is what actually we suppose so we don't have any value for this one so we need y2 value at 0 because we want to convert this into initial form will be at 0 so here comes the guess so we'll make a guess here and then we'll i'll be showing you the result which i have solved with the help of r ke second order method by considering h is equal to 0.01 so y20 we will be guessing until unless we have such a path which will satisfy y1 is equal to 2 so this is the question i take first guess this is a very draw guess so we can take any value i take y dash 0 is equal to 0 as first guess so now the conditions are y 0 0 and y dash 0 is equal to 0 so this is the point from where i start and this is what i am getting so i am getting this look look carefully this equation this condition plus this guess don't consider this one so this condition this original differential equation this condition together make it initial value problem so the we solve this initial value problem of find the value of y at 1 so y at 1 with the help of second and or k method is minus 0.768 then we make the second guess so another raw guess i make y dash 0 is equal to 1 so this ordinary differential equation together with this condition and this guess will become initial value problem so we solve this initial value problem with the help of second order rk method the find the value of y at 1 which is 0.99 so we get two values the first guess when i take y dash equal to 0 i get y1 this value when i took second guess y dash 0 is 1 i get this value so what is my target target is i need y1 is equal to 2 here y1 is this here y1 is two. so i can use interpolation so this is two points i will interpolate means i will make a straight line so using these two points when it is 0 it is giving minus 0.768 when it's 1 it's giving 0.99 so what is my question now my question is what should be the guess when i have to get here 2 so what should be the guess when i have to get here 2 so with the help of these two points i will get linear equation and then i will put this value is as 2 and i will get not 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 this value exactly this value is equal to 2 and i will get this value which will be the guess and this guess will be the guess which will give you answer at y1 is equal to 2 so 
what actually I want? I want value 2. So for 2, I have to take as 3 as 1.5743. So now I have this equation. This is a boundary value problem. But if we remove this one and add this one, this becomes initial value problem. And this initial value problem, of course, has a solution at y1 is equal to 2. What does this mean? This means this condition is satisfied. So the solution to this linear initial value problem is satisfying. Additionally, this boundary conditions, of course, the solution to this 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 uh, uh, initial value problem is also the solution of this boundary value problem. So this is the path actually we find, which is passing through these two points. So this is the solution to the boundary value problem. So I revise summary here. So guess unavailable values for the auxiliary conditions at one point of the independent variable. So in my case, I took first guess as 0 and second guess as 1. And then with the help of interpolation, I get the guess which will be satisfying the boundary condition. So then solve this initial value problem. Check if this boundary condition is satisfied. Otherwise, modify your guess and revise this complete process again until the boundary conditions are satisfied. So your assignment is solve this example or do all the calculation to the example I have provided you in these slides and re-verify the values I have coded here and then check any boundary value problem from any of the book and then solve that use RK fourth order matter method. Please don't use Euler modified or improved Euler method. You can use these methods, but I suggest you to use RK fourth order method to solve initial value problem. And then you have to revise this process because it, it, it seems simple at the moment but it has lot of calculations. So once you will practice this, you will come to know how much time you needed to solve a boundary value problem. So it's a lengthy process because you have to solve two initial value problems. First with the first guess and second with the second guess. And these two initial value problems are in, in, are in itself second order order differential equations which will be converted into the system of two linear first order differential equations so it's a bit lengthy process so please i request you to make practice of given question and then solve one question by yourself thank you very much for your attention your questions are welcome Assalamu alaikum, Allah Hafiz.